Well, at least we didn't lose by 10. Because at first, honestly, I thought we were going to lose by double digits. By the way, we were playing, and we were playing terribly. We improved a bit as the game went on, but... We're not going to beat a Stanley Cup champion. We're not going to... We're not going to be a defending Stanley Cup champion. It's just not going to happen. So we're losing streak. You might as well just say it's an eight-game losing streak because we're probably not going to win on Friday. And the only reason I'm not calling for Blashill's head on a pike is because Steve Eiserman... Uh, trusts him, and I trust Steve Eiserman. So if Steve says that it's okay, I will agree with him that it's okay because Steve Eiserman has a plan. He has a very certain plan. In fact, the very team that out that was out there and just beat us by four goals, he's the guy that built that team. He's the guy that rebuilt that team, and now they've won a Stanley Cup championship. So... Steve Eiserman says that somebody stays. I think I'll just agree with him because he obviously knows what he's doing and he obviously has a plan. It's just bad what I just saw out there on ice. And now I get to go downstairs and watch the Pacers get beat by freaking 30 by the Milwaukee Bucks. Shoot me. I'll see you guys next time and like an hour when I rant about what the Pacers are doing on wood instead of ice. It's like the Red Wings on on wood, basically. Love on each other, as in like you know, tell each other they love. I don't know like who the person is, so.